today happened to be the 15th day of July. Wow. Time is swiftly passing. And there's so much good stuff to bring attention to in Abaco. Since we don't have any representation, local, north central government, under this FNM government. And I try to shed light to a situation, especially if I'm a part of the situation. That's all I do. Finally have a voice. Only them MPs can speak in host assembly. When they get out of the host assembly, they're dumb, deaf, and blind. Because we have recognized, or Kai Mills have recognized in this country, that the FNM members of parliament was elected by the citizen of the country. But once they got elected, they forgot the citizenry, and all they are focused on is the government agenda to hell with the people. Although it is the people time, ask oneself. What legislation has been put in place to help the small man? The middle man is swiftly disappearing. And if the middle man disappear, the poor man already drowned a long time. And that is what's happening under this government. Nobody can tell Kai Mills what the hell happened and is happening with the what monies, the people monies that they came into power to get straight because they are presumed and assumed that the PLP was thieves. What are you? What says you? The governing party. What has happened with the what money when we can't get the lawn mow in Abaco? This video I start doing to educate from the top minister responsible for national security, Marvin Deans, my 40 year old friend, 40 years I've known him. So far, Marvin, you're letting these boys run cycle around you. You're looking pretty, but you ain't saying nothing because the criminals are still in uniform in Abaco. This also goes out to the newest commissioner of police in the Caribbean, Mr. Anthony Ferguson. And also go to, to the man that got a big responsibility. I hope he don't end up like Emmerich Seymour. I'm trying to get Emmerich Seymour before the courts right now because he is one of those that are responsible for sending me directly to jail. That's what the Emmerich Seymour deal. And I'm talking to Sam Butler. Don't I'd be like Emmerich Seymour. I know for certain that Mortimer is your boy. I noticed before I knew who you were, you knew me. And Mortimer, every time you come to Abaco, he would hide you in the car. See, Mortimer don't own you. Mr. Butler, I cry shame on you when you come to Abaco and Mortimer trying to keep you from people like me that could shed some light on the dealings and ill dealings and wrongdoings that he has done and continue to do in Abaco. On the 10th, Independence Night, I was at the police station looking for one Diggity, Derek Ferguson, who told me that, tell my lawyer that Fred Smith is his lawyer, QC. So you let him know, I got QC as a lawyer. He's so ignorant. That QC was given to him by people that have not had the power to give. That don't mean nothing. Every lawyer in this country have a brain. They went to the same school. You could be QC or CQ. So, Derek Ferguson being hiding 
running around the car, police car is a reservist now. And we hate that when these buggers finish destroying the force, they could leave Abaco, but we're stuck here with them as a reserve. And they stink and dirty as they were a regular police. They're worse as a reserve. Why are they still on the force? But that is not the, the picture that I'm trying to paint here. The picture I'm trying to paint here is the chief of police. Now, only one person could say this is Kai Mills, you know, because I live it and I saw it. On the 10th of July at the park there in Marshaba, I had a server serving a writ on Derek Ferguson and Chief Superintendent Mortimer intervened. And I have asked my lawyer to look into it. And if Superintendent Mortimer has broken the law or went beyond his duty, put him before the court, sue him. Already sue one superintendent. I'm not a drunkard at name Vendor Clark, I can't find my money, but you can find my money. And Mortimer gotta be an idiot and a fool to interfere with a Supreme Court order on a no good, wait nothing, Derek Ferguson. Mortimer went up to my server, Mr. Minister Marvin Dames, Anthony Ferguson, Sam Butler, I'm sending this to y'all. This is what Mortimer did on independent night. Went up to my server and asked him why is he serving these summons on his policeman? Why is he allowing Kai Mills to get him in trouble? Don't you know by you giving my policeman these summons, it's gonna cost you to get in trouble? To me, that is interfering with a Supreme Court judge order. There is a stamp on there that Mortimer knows that was put there by a Supreme Court judge. And with that, the Supreme Court judge gave the server the power of attorney, the right to go and serve this on the person whose name on the docket. How dare Superintendent Kevin Mortimer going up to my server to try to intimidate him. That is unacceptable. Mr. Commissioner of Police, Minister, that is irresponsible of Kevin Mortimer to threaten and to intimidate my server when he has the authority given to him by a Supreme Court judge. You see here, yeah? this Kevin Mortimer, this came about because your lack of authority to govern stupid policemen under your control. This happened because Derek Ferguson and Tanisha Russell insulted me several times on a Sunday in the front of the Marshaba police station that located promptly and understand that is how this service of writ come about. How can a 35-year veteran by the name of Derek Ferguson be so ill-advised and so naive and ossified to serve a summons on a Sunday in the front of a Marshall police station that's located in Dundestan. And then the chief of police doesn't want Kevin doesn't want Derek Ferguson to get served. He's making his call, they're making their calls to let them know where I'm at, my location, to avoid service. And when we came into the place, should he sit up there like he done something in Abaco all the years he's been here, like a good policeman, he's gonna get up, pull my server aside, and ask him why is he getting himself in trouble? Why is Kevin Mortimer 
trying to intimidate a server of a Supreme Court summons. To date, every day, I'm at the Marshall International Airport and only they target me. I wonder if that a direct order of Kevin Mortimer. The other day I was insulted by Mullings and hand reach of Kevin Mortimer. And Kevin ain't had enough sense to tell the police that insulted me to stand down. He there and he watching his police manhandle me, taking away from my constitutional right. While in his presence, the next day he's back at the airport like he insulted an animal, not a law abiding citizen. On independent night, when the police supposed to be separate from the judiciary, there is a separation. And Kevin Mortimer, not trying, but did intimidate my server to the point that we had to leave because he felt threatened and intimidated by the chief of police because he's simply serving a coward, a crook, and a criminal in uniform that works at the Marshaba police station. Two weeks, the power of the writ. Two weeks, we couldn't see, couldn't find Derek Ferguson. We finally found him at the police station and he slammed the door in my server face and tell him that they're having a private meeting in the front of Marshaba police station and he's not allowed to come in while they're doing private business in a public police station. That I have on tape also. That is what's happening on the Kevin Mortimer while he's trying to intimidate a Supreme Court server of a writ on his criminal police behavior. Something I have to give. I got energy like a horse. I ain't going nowhere. I was born in Dundas Town in 61. And anybody gonna run out of this town, buddy? Y'all gonna run out of here. I run you out of here before Kevin. I'm on your tail again. Keep the hell out of my business and do what Kai Mills is paying you to do, to protect and to serve me. That is your only mandate, Kevin Mortimer. Get it right. Protect and to serve. Anything happen to me, Kevin? Somebody gonna hold you directly responsible because you have failed in your duty to uphold law and order to protect this good citizen of this good country. Tell your little dogs that you get in uniform, to stand the hell down. Act like policemen. Stop acting like animals. There is a code of conduct. Show it to them. Tell them that. I know they've only been there six months, but after 35 years, Ferguson should have known you don't serve a summons on a Sunday. Kai cares, Kevin. Stand down. I want to put a writ in your chest. Take some of the little money you got. Kai cares. That's why he's here. I'm talking to the chief of police in Abaco. I have no respect for you because you don't have no respect for law and order. Tell your goons, stand down. 